officially in my third trimester. So it's been a minute since I got into the second trimester and I kind of honestly forgot um, a lot of what happened early on because the second trimester changes. It changes a lot um, from when you first, you get to, what is it? I think it starts at 14 weeks all the way up till that 28th week. Um, but luckily I took me some notes so I will hopefully be able to give you a good overview. Um, so first things first is this bump right here didn't start really growing or showing until about week 16. Um, and I'll try and like insert some pictures so you can see how it grew because from about that point on it was growing steadily, steadily. Now it's definitely a real pregnancy bump. I would say around between 20 and 24 weeks is when I started to feel like I really looked pregnant and uh, yeah, now there's definitely no hiding it. <laughs> the gist of the second trimester, it's always, people refer to it as like the, you know, the best trimester and it probably is. I mean, I haven't quite got like into my third trimester yet, but I can already tell it's gonna suck a little worse because um, the way that the second trimester has been for me is it kind of started like maybe weeks, uh, you know, like 14 to 16 was like the very end of my first trimester symptoms. They weren't very strong, but I was having nausea here and there. And then weeks 16 to, I don't know, like 20, 22, I basically felt completely normal. There was like a few things here and there, but nothing more than what you might just feel like on a regular basis anyways from normal life. <laughs> um, but yeah, as it got further, like about after week 24, I definitely started to pick up some new symptoms. I'll talk about those. Um, and I feel like those are just kind of going to get worse as I get more into my third trimester. So we, or I, not we, I first started to feel her kick um around week 18 and at first I wasn't quite sure if it was kicking or not it was a feeling I hadn't really felt before it was similar to gas but just a little bit different and I didn't end up having gas so I knew like that's not what it was um but definitely kind of that same feeling of stuff moving in your intestines kind of feeling and about week 20 um I was definitely recognizing it at this point and that was the first time that Chris was able to feel her from the outside. Um, and then it kind of got into more feeling like, like a muscle twitch was really similar to what I felt like. Now, when this girl moves, I can feel it. I can see it. Um, I'll see if I can put some footage in here because I have a little bit. She's a little camera shy, so. But like, it'll be anything from just like a bump to I swear she's just like going from one side to the other and I almost feel like She's like moving me because she moves so much. Um, probably because she's gotten bigger, but she still has some space, so she's able to move around. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about weight gain because this is something that's kind of, even though I tried to go into it, like knowing what weight gain should be, knowing it's not going to be the same week to week, it was still something that was kind of hard, I feel like, to deal with when I was like knowing I should be gaining about a pound a week and some weeks I would gain like three and be like oh no I'm gonna gain like 60 pounds in my pregnancy there was two weeks right in a row where I gained like three pounds and three pounds and I was just like oh my gosh but then for the next couple weeks it slowed and I think you know that's just how it happens baby has growth spurts um so maybe your fluids shift around and speaking of weights if anyone is watching this that like isn't pregnant little bit of advice don't talk about weights to a pregnant person like at all I mean pretty much unless you are my husband or my mom I don't want to like talk to you about my weight I don't want to talk about how much I've gained how much or how much I haven't gained like it's just it's not a good subject I mean I have been pretty like mentally I've been pretty normal throughout this pregnancy I don't feel like my hormones are getting me too bad um, but there are definitely days when I'm annoyed because I'm either uncomfortable or I've just heard it a lot like I've just heard people talk about me being pregnant a lot and I kind of don't feel like talking about it if you bring up my weight that's gonna annoy me even worse I mean like I know in my head I know that I'm pregnant 
I know I'm supposed to be getting a belly. I know I'm supposed to be gaining weight. And yet it is still kind of hard to watch that happen. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm happy, obviously happy for this pregnancy, but you're, you know, it's just your body's changing. It's kind of hard. So just leave the weight, fat, size, whatever comments to a minimum. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, speaking of kind of like, I guess, weight gain and stuff during pregnancy, how has my diet and like workout regimen been? <laughs> um, my diet is like, I try to be healthy as much as I can. I would definitely say I'm eating less healthy than I used to. Um, and a lot of that is just like being tired and just not feeling like it. Um, but I would say like I'm still mostly eat healthy. Uh, working out, definitely not very much. Uh, I, you know, it's one of those things I try to stay active. I get some yard work done in the week, maybe go for a walk or go for a hike like once a week. Um, definitely not doing stuff every day though. Uh, in fact, yesterday I just went for a hike and it like knocked me out for the rest of the day. I was so tired afterwards. So, um, there's that. But for the most part, my energy levels have been normal. I would say that's like the most normal feeling that I just have like the normal amount of energy. It hasn't been since like the last maybe two weeks that I actually even, I'm getting like a little more winded going upstairs and stuff, but I mean, I'm carrying around 20 extra pounds here. So <laughs> that there's that. Um, and as far as symptoms, um, you know, like I said, I kind of started with some first trimester symptoms, basically didn't have any for a while. And I, well, the ones I was having during that like normal time was just some like aches in my hips and like in my lower back a little bit just kind of like right through this area kind of a similar feeling to um what I would get before I would start my period and I think that was probably just a hormone shift or something where things maybe were loosening up um and it lasted like less than a week and it wasn't even that bad I think I just used a heating pad when it did get really bad or Chris would just rub my back a little and it was fine where I have been hurting pretty bad on my back and this started around week 20 is like right through here will like hurt like pretty badly and sometimes it would get so bad like it would start in the back and then like wrap around to the front because it would hurt so bad which I learned from my OB that nerves that start in the back actually do wrap around to the front and so that's where that pain is coming from um and that was a little bit frustrating because for one, it hurts the worst when I'm sitting and I kind of sit all day at my job and then some of the places I work, I have a long drive after and like I would be in so much pain by my drive home that I was like breathing through it. Like I will be breathing through a traction. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but it was, you know, it was bad enough to where I couldn't talk. It would hurt. Um, so I told my doctor at my appointment because it started getting bad right before my next doctor's appointment and her first like response was oh people don't usually get back pain this early I was like all right I don't really care what's usual this is happening to me right now and she's like well I'll just get a pregnancy belt and I actually didn't really listen to her because I feel like she was just blowing off a lot of my questions so I was like well she's just giving me some bull answer so that she doesn't have to like really help me out um But I, I wish I would have listened because at my next appointment, I mentioned this again, this pain, and that's when the doctor told me about the nerves that wrap around. And he also was like, you should try getting a pregnancy belt, that might help. And so I did. I got this guy here called the Diva Duo. And I just got it on Amazon. Um, I don't, it's probably not very different than most of the pregnancy belts on Amazon. Um, but just a little stretchy belt. I wear it like I stick it up under here and then I wrap it like to where oh I put it on the wrong way. So it's not gonna velcro. But I kinda wrap it up so I get that support in the belly. Um and that definitely helps my back pain. By the end of the day I'm still feeling it, but um a lot less. And we recently took a really long car ride 
all the way down to Louisiana and I wore that the whole time and it really really helped in the car um, it was pretty inexpensive I will link it um, but I don't it's probably not that different from most of the other belts on Amazon I was trying to look through the reviews and they basically all seemed the same so um, I just went with that one and it works well the other thing that I was like asking my doctor a lot of this last appointment was about sleeping on my back because to me that's like either stomach or back is the most comfortable and he basically was like you can't sleep on your back and I was con like always would wake up on my back like I fall asleep on my side wake up on my back and he was like you need to you know prop yourself up with pillows or something so I went ahead and got a pregnancy pillow um I got this guy off a of Facebook marketplace one of not my greatest Facebook marketplace purchases because the pillow that she said she was selling actually fits this case. I got this case on Amazon. Obviously is a smaller one, <laughs> the one that I actually bought. Um, but I mean, I still did save money by getting it on Marketplace and um, it helps, you know, I can stick it up behind my back and it definitely keeps me from rolling over onto my back. Um, and also I can use this little, little curve piece to kind of go in between my legs and under my belly a little bit to give me some extra support. But wear this thing came in the absolute most handy for me was on that car trip because what I did is I just like wrapped it around like a, like a, like an inner tube kind of and I don't know something about having that extra little like arch support basically kept my back from hurting almost completely on the car ride which I was ready to be in a lot of pain having to sit for that long um but it worked so on to the next symptom that has been pretty consistent since probably about week 22 and that is my heartburn um i started just getting a little bit of heartburn where i was feeling <laughs> kind of full but like all the time kind of like like if i bent over i might throw up because i feel like i'm full all the way up to here and i started just taking these um well, Aqua Seltzer Harper Relief Chews. They taste really good. They worked pretty good um, for a couple weeks, but then it kind of started getting worse where just literally everything, even drinking too much water would give me that full feeling and the Alka Seltzers weren't really helping. So I got um, some Pepsin, which has one of the same medications as the um, Alka Seltzer does, but it has like two other ones that has the calcium like that one. And then it also has magnesium and famotidine and those really really help and my newest symptom that's just been in the last two weeks is swollen feet um, I'll put a picture in three two one uh, I wanted to warn you because I know some people don't like feet but uh, and this I was gonna show you my regular feet what they normally look like because the today they're actually not swollen See if I can show you. Ready? One, two, three. Da! -da. Not swollen. Um, so that, honestly, even though it's kind of been a newer symptom and it's not that bad, it's gotten on my nerves a lot because, so sitting hurts my back, laying down makes my heart burn worse, and now standing, like, starts to get my feet swelling. So the other thing is I like sitting cross-legged. That is so comfortable for me. And if I sit cross-legged, my feet like swell like crazy. So like I'd start to get where my skin is tingling because it's like getting stretched from the swelling. So oh, feet, why do you have to like take away the last comfortable positions that I had left? Um, I did notice though, like I said that I hiked yesterday and yesterday was the first day in probably like a week and a half that my feet didn't swell. So I'm wondering maybe if that exercise is gonna help them like not swell as much and I can kind of try and exercise more when they start to swell. Um, that would be nice if I actually figure out a fix for this. It still is a little freaky that like I'm gonna have a baby in like 12 weeks. Like a real baby. I swear it hasn't actually hit me yet. I don't, like, like a real actual baby. I don't know what to do with a baby. <laughs> and we still don't have a nursery done. We have, we've had a baby shower and people have given us a lot of great stuff and that really helps um we'll get there I'm sure oh and the other little fun 
thing is that I don't have any stretch marks yet. Um, hoping to completely avoid them altogether. Of course, I'm sure everyone is. But yeah, that's my belly. Nothing yet, just my little, I guess, what do you call that line? Your pregnancy line? Mine's a little crooked though. It like goes over to the side of my belly button. But yeah. Um, I have been using this vitamin E oil um, to prevent stretch marks. I don't actually know if it's going to work or not, but it's pretty cheap. I think it's something like $6 a bottle, and each bottle so far has lasted me one trimester, so um, it's not bad. I guess $15. If it works, I'll have to let you know towards the end when I get really big. Um, Literally the day after I said, oh, I don't have any stretch marks, I found my first stretch marks. They aren't on my stomach, though. They're, like, on my hip, which is why I don't. I think I hadn't seen them before, but, ugh. There it is. I can't tell if I'm showing. Yeah, I think I am showing it. My first stretch marks. Oh, no. Still don't have any on my stomach yet, but I wasn't using, um... Is there any on this side? I can't tell. Yeah, I think so. I, I have a bug bite on this side too. Oh no, stretch marks. I wasn't using my stuff on my sides or my back though. I was just using it on my stomach. So I'll definitely start using it on there. And I also, um, one of my friends recommended something. She said it worked really well for her and she had twins. So, um, I feel like if she didn't have stretch marks from twins, this product probably works really well. It's just a little expensive, which is why I hadn't bought it yet, but I probably will because I want to avoid these things. So that's the gist of my second trimester. Uh, gear it up for this third one. I hope it doesn't suck as much as I'm afraid that it's going to. Just how these last two weeks have been makes me like scared that the third one's going to be so much worse. Because there's definitely times that I'm, for the first time in my pregnancy, there has been days where I have just been like over being pregnant. I just want to like take off this belly and be normal, be able to bend down and do whatever and not have to worry about, oh, if I eat this, it'll get me heartburn. If I sit this way, it'll do this or blah, 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 you know, like, but we're close. As much as it might suck, <laughs> every day, every week that we... I get through is just like so much closer to baby so uh thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up uh comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos about pregnancy i also like to talk about nutrition um and just kind of life so uh, thanks all right bye